Hi, I'm Stavros. Good morning and welcome and something completely different for you this week, guys. Would you believe I will be off-roading in this 1977 Scania SBAT 111? You're going to be very surprised what course I'm going to be driving on today, guys. So I've already been given a little bit of a spin around already and there's dips and dives and yeah, this truck has to cope with an awful lot on this course and I will be driving it. I can't believe it myself, guys. Anyway, let's get to it. The 1977 SBAT 111. Okay, let's start off with the full walk around the SBAT 111 Scania from 1977. So this was built in Sweden. And there's even a manual that shows exactly how it looks here. Apart from the tires, they're the only kind of real visual difference um, to the truck at, uh, at this stage in time. Now the original tires, these are Michelins by the way, the original tires would have been lower and wider. These are taller and narrower, but they're still very good off-road. Very well done. Now you see this flexible step as well. It kind of has a, a dual purpose. When you tilt the cab, it acts as a stopper on both sides. So that's nicely done. And you see there, they have the wipers on the headlamps as well. And that half of the windscreen can be pushed outwards as well. It's on hinges up on top. Very good. And you see, I'll show you that winch shortly, but it comes out the front here and also out the back, the winch. Very well done. It's all on leaf springs, of course, and it is six wheel drive. So we're really going to experience how good that is. You'll see how dirty it got on the diff. Yeah, that was quite an experience. So uh, yeah, I'll have never have done anything like this before in a video. This is um, all new to me. <laughs> okay, and we've got a, uh, yeah, so this is the battery box and it's also heated. There's a heating element at the back of it there that heats the batteries during cold weather. So all very well done and your air tank there as well. And yeah, I'll show you the crew cab shortly and you see your leaf spring set up there as well. Okay, moving around the back. Uh, they are not the original lamps, of course. They are LED lamps at the back and you see the electrical sockets there for towing a trailer and your tow hitch there as well. And there is a Hyab crane at the back of it there just for pulling on equipment and you have the spare wheels underneath that cover as well. And that is where the winch comes out the back. So you could nearly look the whole way through <laughs> if you want. But the, uh, the winch is in the middle. Let me just show you here. Uh, more storage there at the back as well. So that is the winch in the middle of the truck there. So quite well done that they didn't have to put two winches. Just one in the middle and pull it out through the front or the rear. And this is your crew cab. So you would have six members of crew in the back here and you would have three in the cab so nine crew members would be operating this truck so yeah quite simple and that is a sort of a night eater to keep that cab nice and warm okay close it up there and your diesel tank of course and we have the steps there to climb up on top just for storing more equipment on the army truck okay let me just Walk. Oh yeah, I'll just show you here on the passenger side as well. Just before I hop into the driver's side, you see this little lever here, look. You press that and it lets air in from the outside. And it's still working absolutely perfectly in all these years. And this is a little radiator. And then you have your washer fluid there for the wipers. Okay. And let's just walk around here as well. And hop inside. Okay, and yeah, you have the same on this side as well. Uh, another radiator and another air inlet at the bottom. And we climb up inside. Now, of course, it's not the most sophisticated of trucks, of course, but uh, it is the army guys we're talking about. Now, that's just a camera, a rear camera that was fitted later. Now, this is a starting aid injector. So you would put a cartridge in here and you would pierce it I think it's ether that's put in here or probably alcohol and it goes into the engine and you can adjust it on this uh, to help starting the truck in cold weather. So minus 10 or lower you would use that and yeah 
is uh, this is your gear selector, neutral, reverse, drive, and we have special mode, this is known as, so it's probably for towing a trailer, probably, and here as well we have more off-road functions here, and your diffs, your handbrake, more switches in here, and that's your ignition, and that's for push button start, and this is for just holding the revs of the engine, and here just for knocking off the engine. And you'll see there we have temperature, tank, fuel tank, and your oil, and a little clock, and we have our speedo there. It can only go around 75 kilometers an hour, guys. It's uh, quite a slow truck. And there we have our rev counter, and you see this, it says GPS. I think it's only just for letting you know when the wheels are straight in the straight ahead position. And all your controls here, an awful lot of this is in uh, Swedish, so I can't really translate. I don't speak Swedish, guys. But yeah, you have your lamps and preheating functions there as well. And we have uh, two ashtrays there. And here we have fuses. And over there, just more storage. Yeah, so there's two seat belts here, so you would squeeze two people in here. You would be uh, rubbing shoulders, that's for sure. So I'm just going to hop out and just give you a look at this, uh, they call it a thermostat uh, inlet air preheater. So let me just show you what they used to use to get these trucks started in really cold weather. So there's a little unit here that drops down and you would get, it's like a blowtorch and it would blow heat into the engine to warm it up. So they call it a thermostat inlet air preheater. And yeah, for cold weather starts. So yeah, I think it's time to get set up guys, get it started up, warm up the engine, and you won't believe what's coming next. <laughs> oh yeah, I have to, there we go, yeah we have to. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, into D, <laughs> break off, and that's it, let's go. I've never done this before, guys. Um, this is uh, going to be quite an experience. So yeah, we have around 300 horsepower and 1130 newton meters of torque from the six cylinder diesel engine. So it doesn't really seem like a lot of power, but You'll be surprised when you see the six-wheel drive, what it's capable of here. Now look at this. <laughs> now this is quite a dip here, guys. So we're just going to take our time here. Oh. Now this is uh, quite a dip. So we got to get the brakes on before we start going down. Otherwise, she'll just slide. Yeah. Now. And then power it up. There you go. Oh, come on, come on, baby. <laughs> come on. There we go. Hey! <laughs> we got it, guys. We got it. Now look at this. <laughs> this is <laughs> nice and easy again. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Man, this is a... Uh... <laughs> I've never done this with a truck or any sort of 4x4 before, guys. This is serious. Now, power it up again. Come on, baby. Six-wheel drive. Look at that. Look, it's just like easy work. What's this? <laughs> this is some course, guys. You could really test a 4x4 on this course. And then just power it up there again. Way! <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you have to get the brakes on before you actually start going down, otherwise she might slide a bit. Now this is a quite easy one here as well. Okay. Now that was... That was quite challenging for the truck, but... Now it does get a bit steep down here now. This is very steep. 
so get the brakes on a bit early look how steep this is look <laughs> and the land gets very soft out here as well so I have to be very careful out here <laughs> I tell you I am surprised at how easy it is um, coping with this it actually seems to be coping quite easy so I don't want to get the truck stuck guys now do you think I'll make it up that <laughs> will I I'll give it a go yeah well he made it up there earlier on so I'm gonna give it a go guys here we go power it up go down there but it is it is extremely tight so I think I'll just go back down this one here and <laughs> we have the horn there as well okay now this is going to be a bit on the tight side getting this turn so we're going back the way we came up so I'll get the brakes on early <laughs> Can you imagine if this was full of, with water? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, power it up. Whee. There you go. Now I think I'll go down over here as well. Whoa! Look, <laughs> they're not even moving. <laughs> they don't even care. <laughs> huh? Okay. Now it is, uh, if I were to go out there, there is a possibility I could get stuck. So I really have to stay in here. And... Well, if we do get stuck, we can be winched out, guys. There is a way of coming out. <laughs> okay, I'm hooting the horn out by accident. Yeah, I tell you... Even going up that hill, you could feel the pull when you press the accelerator. Just the the six-wheel drive incredible traction okay we're gonna go up this one here now, <laughs> this is steep as well guys okay look tight guys um, will I go down there uh, yeah <laughs> he says okay but <laughs> this looks tight guys this looks very tight oh are we gonna get stuck in that he says it's okay to go down it but are we gonna get stuck Look, this does look tight now. I'm trying to get around here. Oh, I'm not gonna make that. I'm not gonna make that. I have to go back a bit, guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that. Will it roll back a bit? Uh, <laughs> I have to put it into reverse. <laughs> it's too tight, guys. I'm gonna go back a bit. Um, okay, into drive. Okay. And give it another go. Oh. Okay. We got it, guys. We got it. I'll power it up again. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go down here again. This is fantastic. I, I, when I first came in here, guys, earlier on, I said, "You're not going down that, are you?" And he said, "Yeah, no problem." But. Uh, just look how steep this is! Whoa! Whoa! Man! I cannot believe the capability of this truck, guys. This is 
seriously, seriously impressive. I picked up some amount of dirt there, guys. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, what a drive. And there we are, guys, a drive off-road in the S-Bat 111, the Scania from 1977. What a performer off-road, really impressive. Could not get over it. When you think it only has around 300 horsepower, 1150 newton meters of torque, but it makes light work of this off-road course. <laughs> Just incredible, really impressive. Um, how am I gonna top this, guys? I have no idea. I, I'll have to come back at some stage, definitely, because there are other vehicles that I could test on this course. What do you think? But guys, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will chat to you all again next weekend for another video. Thanks for watching. Cheers!